What's going on, you guys? It is The Talking Sasquatch, and it's great to have you back. Now, I've had this Raspberry Pi 4 in this crappy 3D printed case that I made for about a year now and haven't really done anything with it. In fact, if we open it up, we can see, like, the fan's not even hooked up to anything. It just kind of, like, pops out. And, yeah, it's just chilling here. So I've been racking my brain trying to figure out a really cool project to show you guys to do with the Raspberry Pi 4. I've been looking at projects like RetroPie or Batocera to turn it into a retro gaming little computer, which would be pretty fun, or something like Piehole that would filter ads and stuff from a DNS standpoint, but none of it really felt right. But then I thought maybe I'm looking at this from the wrong perspective. Maybe I can't come up with any good ideas of things to do with it because this is just too boring right now. So today, I'm going to take this little unsuspecting Raspberry Pi 4, get a custom case for it, RGB lighting, custom fans, and do some custom laser engraving on the case itself. And then when we're done, this will be one of the coolest Raspberry Pi 4s ever, and then we can make something cool out of it. So let's hope this works, and let's get at it! All right, so first things first, I actually got this cool little case from Electro Cookie. No, it's not sponsored. I actually bought this thing myself right on Amazon, link down below. Well, it comes with this really, really cool black anodized case, but I figured, you know, this is a little boring and we can do better. I've been itching to use my brand new GWIC G2 fiber laser on a project to show you guys, and I think this is the perfect example for it. So you know what that means. It's time for the laser of science. Yeah, never gets old. Believe it or not, this super, super tiny little thing is a 30 watt Galvo fiber laser. It's absolutely crazy. I really like how little space it takes up in the shop and it's got its own green cowl right on there so it has some eye protection for you. But safety first, it also comes with these Giga Chad level glasses that protect you from the laser. I actually think they look kind of good on me. Sorry, children. Let's take these off because I can't see anything. And yep, super, super bright. Now the GWIC G2 Pro has a few other really cool tricks up its sleeve. So not only can you move it up and down and manually focus, which I actually kind of like, but you can actually take the entire laser off the base and use it as a handheld. Like what other laser can you do this with? It's just on its own and you can engrave anything you need. You don't even have to bring it inside. Just screw this back on. It's super simple. You can also rotate it on the base. I've just been having an absolute blast with this thing. And just like that, it's back together. All right, so let's get this thing started. But not before this segue to today's sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop shop for all things CNC, sheet metal fabrication, PCB design and creation, and more. They can take any project and move it from design to reality. It couldn't be simpler. They have engineers on staff to make sure that anything you need, any questions you have, they can solve them and you can make any project a reality. So head on down to PCBWay.com for a free instant quote. Thank you so much, guys, for the continued support. You guys are absolutely awesome. Let's get back at it. So what we're going to be doing is laser engraving on all three of the visible sides. And I've actually already got a design ready and raring to go. All right, so we're going to be using G Laser right now. This is actually a program that came with the laser and you can use it for free. Super, super simple, super, super easy. Plus, they give you parameters for everything, which makes life a lot easier if you don't really know what you're doing, which pretty much describes me at all times. So let's grab my uh, design. We'll start with the top design. We're actually gonna try this a few different ways. All right, so let's grab our image. All we have to do is click the little image right there. And then this is where I put them right now. So if we open this, we'll notice, wow, that looks awful. Guess what? No problem, we'll fix it. So what's going on is it's got a fixed DPI. So we're gonna go ahead and change that to 500, 500. And then look at that, it looks so much better now. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to invert this. Oh, it's already on reversal. That's why I'm like, this looks weird. I don't remember designing it this way. It's because I didn't. Undo reversal, that's what it's supposed to look like. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna test this on the bottom of the case and make sure this is all gonna look good because again, I haven't lasered on this stuff before. So just as a quick once over my parameters, one pass count, so I'm only doing one pass with the laser. Uh, speed is a thousand, the power is 40% at 30 kilohertz frequency. First things first, again, we're gonna do on the bottom. So what I'll actually raise the laser up so it focuses on the bottom of this. So what's cool is that there's two little red dots that get further and further away from each other when it's out of focus. So all you have to do is get the two red dots to line up and it's focused. A few moments later. Still going. More moments later. And we're focused. So I think I designed this the right size, but we're gonna scale it down a little bit. But what's cool is if you go ahead and hit the red button down here, it'll actually mark exactly where it's gonna mark on the laser so I can center things. 
actually that seems perfect so let's throw on the glasses and mark this thing now i do have a ton of ventilation in this room that you can't see and i would not recommend actually using it this close to you and any lasers like that but we're just trying to see how it works and i'm not doing like this every single day so just a disclaimer so safety goggles on and let's go ahead and mark and see what this does All right, so let's see what this looks like. And every time I take those off, I'm totally blind. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That looks so good. Check it out. I think that looks fantastic. It's coming out really, really good. So I think it's time to do the real thing. So let's send it out. This is insane. This couldn't have possibly come out any better. Look at this. Check this out. This looks so good. I'm amazed at how good this thing came out. So let me get the other side's laser and let me get it put together. Wow, this thing came out so, so good. It looks amazing. Let's switch to the top-down camera and get to assembly. Let me tell you, end of the day, this thing came out really, really nice. I wish I figured out the corners a little bit better. This is the back where the SD card goes in, and then I threw on Raspberry Pi logo right there with some little Raspberry Pi. So I guess all that means now is let's do a montage and get this thing together. And just like that, we are done. I picked the uh, kind of yellow as opposed to clear because I just love, I love yellow for like, it just has like such a 90s vibe to it. It even shows the GPIO pins right there. It's hard to see with the glare, but very, very cool. So let's fire this thing up and hopefully I didn't do anything wrong. So moment of truth, do, 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 hey, and it turns on, look at you, so cool. Let's look at the other side. Here's our RGB board. Look at how freaking cool that is. I love how this thing came out. It's now it's ready for some sort of really cool project. It's got Raspberry Pi on the back. It's got me on top. Just a kind of normal thing there. Again, I wish I did these corners a little better. I mean, I learned a ton in this project, but like, yeah, it works. And I even got the fan orientation right. This thing's really quiet. I really dig this case. We're going to do something really, really cool with this. All right. So if I'm being honest, I am so psyched about this. I don't think this project could come out much better. Yeah, look, it's just so cool. It's so cool. I love this thing. Now it's ready for some real primetime action. So what are we going to do with this little guy? It's a Raspberry Pi 4. What kind of projects would you like to see? 
Obviously, I can make it into a retro game or pie hole, as I mentioned before. Or maybe we do a giveaway on Discord for it and you can win this thing yourself. Hey, thanks for going on this journey with me. I love making stuff like this and I love playing with lasers. So this seemed like a great opportunity to do both. Also, thank you so much, GWIC, for the laser. It's been an absolute blast. Now, I did get this laser for free. However, that doesn't change any of my opinions. If you see my other opinion pieces, it does not change my opinions on anything. So yeah, thanks a lot. And thank you so much for watching. I love project videos. So thanks for hanging in there with me. We'll catch you next time.